Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Nancy Novak from stampandshout.com and today we're creating page two of our spring scrapbook layout. So here's page one we created yesterday. So we used the Be My Valentine stamp set. We used the Be Mine uh, designer series paper and we used the Scallop Contours die set. So I wanna show you how this pretty paper is perfect for spring and summer. It's not just Valentine's Day. Same thing with the, with the stamp set. You can use it for other things besides Valentine's Day. Plus all of these products are last chance items, which means if you like them, you have to get them now because they won't be in the new Stampin' Up! catalog. I'm really gonna miss these dies. I've used them a lot. They work with any stamp set, any theme, any occasion. So let's get started. So I am using a black, cardstock base that's 12 by 12 and then I have a piece of white cardstock that I cut down to 11 and a half by 11 and a half. I have a pretty little strip of that designer series paper that's 11 and a half by a half inch and you don't have to worry about the sizes because um, I will have a project sheet for my two uh, scrapbook page layout so you can just go over to my blog and there's also a link down below so um, you will be able to find that project sheet very easily with all of the sizes and the supplies and the colors. So again, we use the scallop contours and we cut out a couple of pretty scallops and then we cut this large one out. And then we have a couple of white squares that we're gonna put on our um, scalloped pieces. And this is gonna be where your photos are gonna go. And then I have another piece of designer series paper that we're gonna use for our title. And we'll get to the rest of it in a little bit. I have some other designer series paper and we're gonna stamp a couple of images. Uh, but the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and glue our white pieces to our sweet sorbet layers. So again, I do have on my project sheet the size photos that will fit here. And you can either put the photo on the entire cover the whole white piece up, or you can leave the, a little border, however you think your photo looks best. But again, that is all on the project sheet. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and glue the strip, this pretty designer series strip, right at the bottom of our page. And I'm putting it right at the very, very bottom, just like that. So I'll glue that on real quick. Okay, let's do a little bit of stamping. We're gonna stamp a bee and some flowers, just like in our page one. So I'm gonna use Memento Black ink, and I'm gonna go ahead and stamp the B on Daffodil Delight, just his stripes, and then we're gonna punch him out. And I'm gonna bring in the little stamp that has a B face. This stamp has three different B faces, really cute little faces to set different emotions for whatever you're um, creating. Okay, so now I'm going to bring in a piece of a scrap of white, and I'm going to stamp the antenna on there. And I'm going to bring in a scrap of balmy of pool party, and I'm going to stamp the wings on there. Then we're going to punch them out. So the punch punches out the bee's body, his wings, but we're going to do something else with the wings later. And it also punches out a little heart, and the little heart is used for the antenna. So I'm just going to take a little dab of glue and put it on the bottom of the wings and the antenna and attach it to our bee. Okay, so there's our bee, and we're going to put it on our scrapbook page in just a minute. But let's bring in the white again and some sweet sorbet and let's stamp some wings and I'm going to show you how to make that flower. It's really a pretty flower and you can use it for your cards or your scrapbook pages. I think it really turns out pretty. So I'm going to bring in the Memento Black ink. I'm going to stamp four wings. And then I'm going to punch them out. Cut a little, just a little square, a little scrap. That's what our flower is going to sit on. And then I'm going to punch out two small hearts. 
with the Daffodil Delight cardstock. And now we'll put our flowers together. So I'm going to take that little scrap and just put a little blob of glue on there. And then I'm going to layer the little wings that we cut out and create our flower. And then we'll put our little yellow hearts in the center of each flower. There are our flowers. Aren't they cute? So those are going to be little accent pieces on our scrapbook page. Let's bring this piece in. This is going to be our banner. And I'll, ahead of time, I already cut out several different letters and other pieces. So let me bring some of that in. So Stampin' Up! has a, a couple of different alphabet die sets that you can use. And I use them to create my, my titles for my scrapbook page. And I also used another stamp set. So let me bring that in. So I used the biggest wish and I stamped the word happy. And that's going to be our title at the top of our of this scrapbook page. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue this together. And I'll show you how we're going to lay it out. So that's going to be our title page, Be Happy. So it goes really cute with our Springs Buzzin' page. Um, and let's bring in other pieces, and I'll show you how it's going to be laid out. So we're going to have here the big one there and the smaller ones down here. One up, one up in the top right corner and one in the bottom left corner. So it's going to go something like that. And then I went ahead and I cut our pretty designer series paper into squares. Again, I will have a project sheet so you'll know how all this goes together, the sizes. So it's going to go something like that. So I have six of these little squares. And then I took the designer series paper and it's got so many cute little bees. And I found two of them and I'm going to fussy cut those out. And those are also going to be little accent pieces on our page. So let me cut these out really, really quick. Okay, so that's how I'm going to have it laid out. Before I glue everything down, my bee is going to go here. So I'm going to stamp that little um, trail, the little bee trail, right there before I glue everything down. I also cut these out ahead of time. I use just one end of the uh, scalloped contours. And I think I'm going to go ahead and attach them just like that, just to add a little bit more interest to our page. So I'm going to go ahead and glue those on our center uh, photo layer. Okay, that's how it's going to look. So I'm going to go ahead and glue everything down really fast and we'll talk about our pretty, pretty spring scrapbook page. Okay, so far so good. Then I made some bows using some black and white twine, and I just tied a real quick and easy bow. And I'm going to attach them to our little photo areas with a, a glue dot. Okay, now I'm going to glue this whole thing and put it on our black base. Okay, so there's page two. Be happy. Isn't that cute? I love how that designer series paper is so cheerful and bright. 
great for spring and summer, and those bees are adorable. So let me bring in page one. And again, it's going to be hard to see in the camera, but they coordinate very well with each other. I will have a picture on my blog, a nice big picture, nice close up, so you can uh, get all the details. Also, I did, um, if you are interested in getting this scrapbook page for free, I started something where if you leave a comment, if I get 25 comments by tomorrow at 6 o'clock, I'm going to randomly pick somebody and uh, mail you the little scrapbook page so you can have it. And the reason I'm doing that with the comments is every time you comment, it does help support me and my YouTube page. So I'm trying to grow my YouTube page, so I appreciate your comments and your likes and I appreciate you being here and watching my videos. So I hope you enjoyed making these scrapbook pages with me because it was fun creating something different with the Be Mine Designer Series paper and the stamp set and those contour dies. Don't forget to grab those last chance items before they're gone for good. Remember to check out the project sheet on my blog for all the sizes and the supplies that I used in today's project. I have one project sheet for both scrapbook pages. And you'll be able to find that on my blog or down below. There's also a link. And until next time, happy crafting. Don't be shy. Stamp and shout.